our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. I just got a letter from an old high school buddy. Really? That's nice. He usually keeps me posted. I've been completely out of touch with my old friends. It's hard to keep up contact when people move around so much. Yes, people just seem to drift apart. Are you ready to go to the supermarket? Yes, are you? I've got my money and my keys, so I'm ready. You do know that it's absolutely freezing out, don't you? I'd put a coat on if I were you. It wasn't cold out this morning. Well, it started raining since then. Look out the window. It's pouring rain out there. Well, I guess we'd better grab our umbrellas then, as well. Have a look outside for me. Does that look like hail to you? It does, actually. Maybe we should wait for it to clear up before we go shopping. That's a good idea. But maybe we should move the car so that the hail doesn't dent it. Okay. I'll go move the car if you turn the heat on. It's a bit chilly in here. How long do you think this hailstorm is supposed to last? I don't know. The weatherman didn't say anything about this in his weather report last night. Maybe we should turn on the news in case it's supposed to get worse. I don't think we have anything to worry about. Do you want to put on a cup of tea as well? Good idea. That will help us to warm up. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, come and find me. All right. I'll have a cup of tea waiting for you. Hi, Tony. Haven't seen you for a long time. How have you been? Okay. I've been looking for a job for days, and I haven't found one yet. It's so hard finding work these days. Have you had any luck? Yes, I've got a job, a waiter's job in a restaurant. Are you well paid? Well, $10 per hour, but I can keep the tips. That comes to roughly $80 every evening. Not bad. Actually, there's still another opening. If you are interested, you'll surely get it. That's great. I'll go there right now and speak with the boss. There's no rush. You can see him tomorrow. I've told him about you. He promised to give you the job. That was nice of you, Susan. Thanks a lot. Think nothing of it, Tony. I'm sure you'd do the same for me. Could you tell me a bit more about the work there? I mean, those do's and don'ts. I am a green hand, you know. First of all, you must be punctual. You should be there before 6 p.m. so that you will have half an hour for preparation changing clothes and things like that. Then, remember you should smile. Smile to your customers all the time. Never pull a long face even if you feel awful that day. Anything else? Oh, yes. Never argue with your boss. Learn to say, yes, sir. Be a yes man, you mean? You may put it that way if you like. Don't worry. You'll have no problem. I hope not. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine. How about yourself? I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. No problem. So how have you been? I've been great. What about you? I've been good. I'm in school right now. What school do you go to? I go to PCC. Do you like it there? It's okay. It's a really big campus. 
Good luck with school. Thank you very much. Who did the stupid thing? Maybe it was Dick. I don't think so. Dick has been on the ball and he never does things like that. Then it must be a naughty boy who did it. Why is little Billy crying? He got a scolding. That man's really a bore to me. Which one do you mean? The man with his hair cropped. I am thinking about inviting you to a dinner. When would you have time? And what kind of food do you fancy? That would be great. I am really in the mood for a spicy hot pot. Any special reason for the invitation? To thank you for helping me at work last week. If you would not have been so kind, I would not have been able to pick my parents from the airport. You really did me a big favor. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. How about this evening? I feel very hungry now. Fine. I know a good hot pot place in the downtown area. Food there is pretty spicy too. Shall we try that one? Okay with me. You are the boss. I will meet you downstairs after work. Judy, your husband has a really nice car. Thanks. It's a lot better than mine, and it's new. Where are you going? We're going to visit my sister in the city. I didn't know your sister lives in the city. When did she move there? About a year ago. She lives in an apartment on 3rd Street, across from the public library. I see. It's almost 5 p.m. now. Don't you think there will be a lot of traffic? Oh, we're not driving. We're going to take the subway. The subway only takes about 20 minutes. Yes, but it can be very crowded around this time. I always feel uncomfortable taking the subway. I take the subway to work every day, so I'm used to it now. Doesn't your mother live in the city? Yes, she's lived there for about 10 years. I remember when she moved there. Apartments were a lot cheaper then. I know what you mean. It's hard to find anything that's reasonable now. Have a good time. Next time you're free. Give me a call and we'll go play poker. See you later. He has a girlfriend already. You were kidding. He just broke up with Anne. His new girlfriend is a far cry from Anne. She is like a breath of fresh air. I hope I will meet her soon. Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way, with ease and efficiency.